Kia ora, it's Ruth here in my garden in Christchurch. Now I said yesterday that I was going to plant my garlic because it was the shortest day. It's now another day because days get away on you, but it's fine, planting it today. Now what I've done is I've got some um, sheep pellets which I've been soaking in some water for the last couple of weeks. I was prepared with that so that I could put them in and then I've got my worm castings here as well which is full of goodness and what I'm going to start by doing is making a bit of trough where I want my garlic to go and then putting this down the bottom of where it's going to be because I want to have as much goodness in the bottom of my garlic as possible. Once I've done that what I've realized is that beetroot is actually a companion plant to garlic. Last year I grew garlic and I was thinking about how it was such a waste of space. Good garlic but nothing else was in that patch so I'm going to be able to put my garlic underneath and then my beetroot on top which won't only just mark where the garlic is, means I'm making the most bang for my buck in my space and then I'll be able to harvest the beetroot and then shortly afterwards harvest the garlic which will be awesome. So let's get to it. Best practice would have been to have the sheep manure in the ground for a couple of weeks first so that it really had time to rot down. Um, as I've only just filled the garden, but it's short on time. When growing garlic, it's the fattest bulbs that you want. It's the biggest ones that will produce the best ones next time round. So when burying them, I'm going to be planting them that way down, in a line, because I like lines, but it's not how you have to garden. Cover it over, and then just on top of each one, I'm going to put a beetroot. Ideally, I would have grown these by seed. But hadn't thought about planting beetroot on top until this morning, and seeds take a while to get this big. It's really fun. This has got five in, so I wonder how many I'll get per punnet. And you can tease them all apart. You don't have to grow them in clumps. Gently does it. You get a really good root. And just plant it down on top. What I also do when I plant new seedlings is I put some eggshells around them. This is something I learned from somewhere else, can't remember, um, to keep the snails and slugs away. But also, especially when planting seeds, it's a handy visual of where things are. So if I put a little circle around this, I'll remember that that's not only where a beetroot seedling is, but it's also where the garlic is. Last thing I'll need to do once I've planted all this is cover it with some netting because I realised that the birds really like beetroot seedlings. I lost a whole lot of them last time I planted them, so I'm going to get them covered this time. Check back next time to see how well these are growing and what else we end up putting in this garden bed. Subscribe if you want to. See you next time.